Hi, welcome to another session of Circulation Networks. In today's transient analysis class, we are going to see the transient analysis of resistor, inductor, and capacitive networks using Laplace transform. So, this particular class we are going to treat as class 14. Here you can see the different varieties of passive elements and the Laplace transform is applied to these passive elements and how to obtain the transient current equation for these kind of passive elements is our main concern. So before going into the depth of Laplace transform, first let us see the representation of passive elements in time domain as well as in frequency domain. We'll start off with the resistor. When you see a voltage source, it's supplying its energy to the resistive element. So according to the Ohm's law, the voltage developed across resistance is given by V of T is equal to R I of T. So this representation comes under time domain analysis. Now we can convert this time domain analysis into frequency domain analysis with the help of Laplace transform. Uh, representation you can see in figure 1b where you can see input voltage where it is V of t in time domain it is changed to V of s in frequency domain and the current which is flowing is I of s and since it is resistive element and resistor does not store any energy so V of s will be equal to R multiplied with I of s so this is a representation of frequency domain for time domain for resistive circuits. Now if at all we go with the next passive element that is inductor, you have V of T which makes the current I of T to flow through the inductor and when inductor develops the energy that is current through the inductor that is I of 0 it is treated like this. For this we have the frequency domain which is given as V of S and current which is flowing will be I of S. This L becomes SL or LS and the developed voltage when the current is flowing through the inductor it becomes L multiplied with current I of 0. So I of 0 indicates the amount of energy stored in the inductor in the form of current before switching. Now this can also be converted into current form where you have V of S, I of S and you can see the developed current through the inductor will be given by I of 0 by S. So this is the Laplace representation for the time domain circuit with the help of frequency domain analysis. How we got figure 2B, figure 2C? Let us see with the basic formulas of inductor. The voltage developed in an inductor is given by V of t is equal to LDA by dt. And this changes to V of s is equal to SL or LS times I of s minus L of I0. So if at all any voltage is developed that is given by V of s which is equal to LS I of S minus L I of 0. So the polarity changes because as soon as the switching is shifted from 0 minus to 0 plus, the inductor is ready to dissipate its energy and that is why here we have obtained minus L I of 0. So this frequency formula we have obtained from time domain formula. Now according to V of t is equal to LDA by dt, I want to know the value of current. So current will be taken as I of t which is equal to, we have just integrated on the both side of this V of t equation. So I am going to get 1 by L 0 to t V of t dt plus the stored energy that is I of 0. And if at all I want to represent this in frequency domain with the help of Laplace transform, so this becomes I of s equal to 1 by ls since you have l here so that becomes 1 by ls and integration of v of t dt in terms of frequency it becomes v of s 
plus i of 0 by s. So this is the important formula which we have to remember in Laplace transform. For Laplace transform, mathematical analysis, you can go with engineering mathematics, volume 1. In that you can see the different formulas for Laplace transform for different types of parameters and the trigonometric values. So we are interested here only with the passive elements and that is why we have taken or we have selected only the passive behavior of the circuit. And this is the formula for frequency domain and this is the formula for time domain. Likewise, we can employ the formula for capacitor. In figure 3a, you can see when supply voltage is giving its energy to the capacitor. So in time domain form, V of t is equal to 1 by c integral 0 to t, I of t dt plus V of 0. So the V of 0 is the amount of voltage developed across the capacitor and I of t will be equal to C di by dt. So this is the basic formula what we have seen from sinus order analysis of passive elements. So with the help of these two formulas under time domain, we can frame into frequency domain. First, let us see the frequency domain analysis in the terms of voltage. So V of t becomes V of s. 1 by C becomes 1 by C of S and integral I dt it becomes I of S plus V of 0 becomes V of 0 by S. So this formula it is determined from this formula. This is the frequency domain analysis formula and this is the time domain analysis formula. And likewise we can get the value of I of S with the help of figure 3C which will be equivalent to C I of S it is going over here just apply H of current law at this particular node, I am going to get I of S which is equal to you have V of S divided by 1 by C S. So this C S goes to your numerator and becomes C S V of S minus the developed current through the capacitor and that is making the voltage to form through the capacitor. So this is the equation for current under frequency domain with the help of time domain. So these formulas you should remember before solving transient analysis pertaining to Laplace transform. Please remember these formulas. We are, make, we are going to make use of these formulas in order to get the solutions for transient currents as well as transient voltages through passive elements. Now let us begin with the first analysis that is obtaining of transient current for series RL circuit using Laplace transform technique. Already we have seen the transient current behavior with the help of partial differential equations in our previous classes. Just we are going to match the solution, the final solution, whatever we got under partial differentiation when we have differential equation for transient analysis. So this is an RL circuit, the switch is open first, so no current will flow. As soon as the switch is closed, the current starts flowing. Now. As the switch is closed at t equal to 0, the circuit changes to figure 4a. So this is the circuit. Now, as I told you, we have to change the time domain circuit to frequency domain circuit. The resistor it is not changed. Only the color is changed just for uh, decoration purpose. These colors are changed. Whereas you can see the input voltage becomes V in by S. The current I of T becomes I of S and inductor it becomes LS. Now apply KVL to this closed circuit. So I will be having minus V in by S plus R multiplied with I of S plus LS I of S is equal to 0. So this we are treating as equation 1. Now I of S I am going to take outside from this equation 1. So it becomes I of S times R plus LS which is equal to V in by S. Finally, I am just rearranging the terms such that V in by L it becomes on the numerator and on the denominator I have S multiplied with S plus R by L. You can easily formulate equation 2 from equation 1 by rearranging the terms in a proper way such that the variable parameters or the Laplace parameters are taken in the denominator whereas V in by L it is taken out to the numerator. 
Now this represents a partial fraction and the solution can be obtained by taking i of s is equal to a by s plus b by s plus r by l. Now this becomes equation 3. Now from partial fractions I can obtain the value of a as well as the value of b and then I am going to substitute the value of a and b in i of s and then I will apply Laplace inverse in order to find out the value of current i of t. How we do that? Let us see. Now a can be obtained by multiplying i of s with s and substituting s is equal to 0. What is i of s? i of s is v in by l divided by s into s plus r by l. So multiplied with this s and taking s to 0, what is going to happen? First, this s and s will cancel out. Then I am going to substitute s is equal to 0. Then it becomes v in by l whole divided by r by l which give, will give you the value as v in by r. I hope you understood how you got the value of a with the help of partial fractions. Great. Let us find out the value of b. So b equal to, so under denominator of b we have s plus r by l. So multiplied with i of s and then substituting s is equal to minus r by l which gives you the value of b. Let us substitute the value. So you have s plus r by l multiplied with i of s. i of s is b in by l whole divided by s into s plus r by l. Now the like terms is cancelled out like this and I am going to substitute the value of s is equal to minus r by l which will give you the value of b which is equal to minus b in by r and this I am treating as equation 5. Now once equation 4 and 5 are framed that is the values of a and b are obtained I am going to substitute equation 4 and 5 are the values of a and b in equation 3. So equation 3 I have i of s which is equal to a by s so a is b in by r plus b by s plus r by l so b we got the value as minus b in by r. Now this is a representation of frequency domain current now I am going to apply inverse Laplace transform to the equation 6 and then I am going to get i of t which is equal to so you have here constant divided by s so it becomes v in by r minus v in by r this 1 by s plus r by l becomes e to the power of minus r by l t. So you can look into the properties of Laplace transforms in engineering mathematics the basic formulas are given from that only we have derived this equation 7 from equation 6. Just I am taking v in by comma, common so it becomes 1 minus e to the power of minus r by lt. Now this is the same equation what we have obtained under the solution for differential network what we have framed for transient current for RLC for RL circuit. Obtain the transient current for RC circuit using Laplace transform. So this kind of figure we have already seen in our previous classes. So once the switch is closed, the figure 5 changes to figure 5a like this. Likewise in the previous case R becomes as it is, I of t becomes I of s, V in becomes V in by s and C becomes 1 by C s. Unlike L becomes LS, C becomes 1 by CS. This is a small difference what we can see from inductor compared to capacitor. Now applying the KVL to the closed circuit, I am going to get minus V in by S plus R I of S plus 1 by CS I of S is equal to 0. With this I am going to take I of S common. So it becomes R plus 1 by C s which is equal to V in by S. Therefore I of S will be equal to V in by S whole divided by R plus 1 by C s. Now it is a simplest form of Laplace transform. I am just taking C s common in the denominator. So it becomes R C s plus 1 by C s. In fact, this term S and S you will cancel out by I when mean, I am going to take S outside and constant 1 by RC will come into the circuit and R 
in the side wise it goes to the numerator so this equation v in by s whole divided by rcs plus 1 divided by cs will becomes v in by r whole divided by s plus 1 by rc now this is equation to whose inverse laplace will be giving the value as v in by r e to the power of minus 1 by rct now this is the same formula what we have obtained per rc circuit in differential forms the solution is the same so i hope you understood how we have obtained the transient current with the help of laplace transform for rl circuit r circuit rl circuit and rc circuit so i hope you understood this particular class of laplace transform please like and share among your friends subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon for the video notifications thank you